in today's video, I'm going to show you how I switched my leopard gecko substrate from paper towels to tile. The one and only reason I do not like paper towel is because it looks unnatural. It's really great otherwise because it's easy to keep clean and it's safe for geckos. I just thought that since she's going to be spending her whole life in this tank, I want it to look as nice as possible. I think tile is a good option because it's still easy to clean, but it looks very natural. Now as far as where I got my tiles from, I actually got them from our pool because we redid it a few years ago and we had a lot of tiles left over. I'm going to be using the blue tiles that you can see here. The very first thing I did is measure the inside of the tank and then I drew marker on our tiles so that we would know where to cut them and they should hopefully all fit in the tank perfectly. Because we did not have the proper equipment to cut tile, we ended up using a variety of methods to eventually cut it, but it was a lot of work. The first method that we tried was to use a Dremel to score the tile. Then we used a tile cutter, which, as its name suggests, it should cut the tile. However, because ours is made of plastic and the blades are not sharp, you can see here that it really doesn't do that much, but it helps a little bit. This is our first tile after we scored it using the tile cutter and Dremel. I missed filming it, but as you can see, it broke cleanly, and we were really excited about that. After that, we just smoothed out the edges so that they weren't sharp. Excited by our success with the first one, we tried the same method again, first using the Dremel, then using the tile cutter, and then breaking it with a hammer. But as you can see, this is what happened. After that, we brought in the heavy duty equipment that we were hopeful would cut the tile much easier. This included an angle grinder, which was supposed to cut it very easily. Of course that wasn't the case and it really only scored the tile the same way that the Dremel did so we still end up having to score it with the angle grinder and then use the tile cutter before breaking it with the hammer. However none of the tiles cut cleanly the way the first one had and they all broke off at least little pieces. This didn't really bother me because I thought I can just glue them back together. Only little pieces chipped off or they broke in half. It wasn't like they shattered into a million pieces, so if I want to, I can just glue them. This is what our tiles looked like when they were all finished and were ready to go in the tank. Just to give you an idea of what Savannah's tank looked like before we put the tile in, this is it. As I said before, I like paper towel because it's really easy to keep clean and there's no risk of impaction, but as you can see here, it's not very natural. Now comes the fun part of actually putting the tile in the tank. Before I do that, I have to remove all of her decorations and hides. Then, of course, I need to actually take her out of the tank, which was easier said than done because she was in her humid hide and I can't just grab her out of there, so instead I had to lure her out with a little mealworm, which took some time, but eventually she went for that. You can see here that she's gotten way better with handling. I've only had her for like a month and a half and she just let me easily scoop her up and put her in this little tank while I redo her home. As you can see here, I am taking all the paper towel out of her tank. She has a few extra layers over where the heat mat was because it gets too hot and she also has a paper towel in her litter box corner. And then she has two layers of paper towel covering the entire bottom. I actually decided to leave the bottom layer of paper towel, that way if something like EcoEarth from her humid hide falls in between the cracks on the tile, there's still it doesn't just go right to the bottom of the tank, and that way it will still be easy for me to clean up. And here you have the whole bottom of the tank once it's done. I'm really happy with how it looks. As you can see here, I left the one corner that had cracked, I left it just exposed because that way I'll be able to lift the tiles up easily and her warm hide is actually going to be covering that so you won't be able to see it at all. I also decided to leave a paper towel in her bathroom corner, that way it will still be easy for me to clean up. Here is the tank when it's all finished and I am so happy with how it looks, it's very natural. Now I'm just going to put Savannah back in her tank and see what she thinks of it. As you can see here, she definitely knew the ground was different and she spent a long time exploring it, so I think she likes it. Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah, we'll never be alone. Savannah. 
today's video I just want to give a quick shout out to my dad he helped me cut all the tile and he just helped me figure it all out this project definitely would not have happened without him so thank you dad for helping me all right guys so if you enjoyed the video leave a like and if you are not subscribed yet be sure to do that so that you can see many more videos on my leopard gecko as well as my other animals I'll see you guys next time bye